Ah, oh, what a pleasant morning. Hey you, is it true you got the purr pad? <laughs> purr and I work together on design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie pad, technically speaking. Huh. Come on, Goggles, are you li even listening to me? Oh, oh uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. <laughs> no way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are too vast for you to explore on your own. And we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything would happen to Pura's favorite student, it will be the end for me. The end! <coughs> but I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should be help us better understand the depth. What figure? Oh, Swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you on the conversation. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. A survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Okay. A piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing up on two legs with one arm raised? Well, I have a theory. I think it'd be evidence that mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. So I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions that, like this one. I want to see for myself. Uh -huh. Goggles here says it's too dangerous. It won't let me go. Oh. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. Uh -huh. And Link will join me! <laughs> Why are you going with? We'll start by looking at for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. So when we find what we we're looking for, we'll use your purpad's camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. Perfect plan. Oh. Don't know about the camera. It's one of the purpad's basic funk features. <laughs> With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Ah. Sounds like you have more to learn about the purp. I I've used the Sheikah slate. Why is everyone ignoring the Sheikah stuff that happened in the previous game? Oh my gosh, it's so confusing. I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there anyway. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through Chasm to the south. That's when I was planning to jump in anyways. <laughs> I'll go on ahead. What? Wait, hang on. Huh. Looks like he's gone. So he got roped into all of this swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out, at least. Okay. Oh, and take this, too. Um... Chasm's pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. Attach yeah, I know how it works. You want to head straight out? I know where it is. Don't know how much to thank you for... I don't know... I don't know too much about how your camera works. <laughs> but I'm counting you. Bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Can I take this stuff now? No. I'm a swordsman. That's why I keep my research materials. Please, hands off, okay? Hmm? Swordsman, are you okay over there? It looked like you're somewhere else just now. What about your interest in that stained stone, huh? We've discovered it in the depths. Okay, so there's gonna be pose in the depths. Uh, that makes sense. Do I have. Well, I guess I could just shoot the pose. It shouldn't be that hard. Grow well, naturally formed as and as though it had been carved into. We don't know much about it, so as you can probably tell. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> so once I'm done with my current investigation, I plan to start digging into it more. Pray? I didn't realize it said pray before. Oh, there's a book. Uh, instruction manual? No, I'm good. I don't need instructions for it. It's pretty straightforward. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with work right now. Ah. Link! Well, what a relief. I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been, anyway? Uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. Ah. Been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable in Lookout Bat Landing. Ooh. Lester has come here to look at for the horses, so it would help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a little while to complete. Ah. Once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Oh 
I'm sure I saw someone fall from that huge island in the sky, pretty sure at least. So if that just stays with me, I should talk to expert in the sky analyst who works with his own IT team for studying moons mm. all over. <laughs> I was the one who fell. Alright, I'm here. So you're just gonna meet me down there? Oh, I just died. How deep is this? Hello? They have hot air balloons to get back down. How far did Robbie go? Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zone High sur Survey Team. Robbie told me to guide you once you arrived. Uh. But you rushed along with such haste that I didn't even bring enough Blight Bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Ah. I thought he was taking a short walk to over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there over off to the west. I guess I'll follow him. Do you have any blood? Yeah, I do. Oh, no, I don't. That's not Okay. It's going to be dangerous explorer without a light source. You can easily get them from caves, and they'll light up if struck. They're pretty easy to use, too. Throw them with your hand. Oh. Use those of us who skilled enough with a bow with attaching the arrows and fire them off in distance down here. Yeah, I know how that works. Ah. Uh. <sighs> You didn't gather nothing in advance, so you don't have any more for me. That's fine. So you think I could just throw them? Yeah. Oh, that does work. Also, are you fairies? No, you're not. You're fireflies. Not fireflies. What am I saying? Deep firefly. Oh, they are fireflies. These are weird trees. Okay, so what is a light root? Oh, hello. Hello? What is this doing? Ooh. Fancy. I can light it up down here. Ooh, plant life too. Okay. And a fast travel point. How fancy. Spell the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. All right, then. And healed me to full. Cool. Can I go in it? No. <laughs> Had to try. Hey, you! <laughs> it's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here up from the surface. Even if I goggles, I can hardly see. Really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. It's one of the few sources of light. The glowing root glowing down from a growing down from above has piqued my my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Is it? So every shrine, you think? Interesting. Anyway, I'm off for to the glowing root. I see shining west from me up here, so you better hurry up and get moving. Alright, and I should avoid the gunk. The whatever they keep calling it. This muddle bud. Yeah, I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> this is so weird. This is a giant tree thing. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. That's what it's called. Get too close to the stuff, and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any blight brooms, blight br blooms, he'd be. I'd be certain. I'd be curtains even. Then again, it's my first time down here, and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Just spotted something of interest in my goggles. Shaped like a figure, uh, like the, that figure Joshua wants us to find. Continue to the west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. How long has he been here? That he's this far ahead. 
also there's still like no danger. Breath of the Wild had so much more danger off very often. How high up is the ceiling? This is just another world down here. Bombs. Okay, don't mind if I do. What are you? Oh, I know what you guys are. Okay. You guys aren't that crazy. I... Hmm. See, the best way to take care of these guys is to do this. Well, I meant to throw you. But... I guess touching you with my hands isn't that dangerous. It's more than normal that way. Okay, and they dropped some stuff for me. A zone of night, which means that they're... Didn't I just pick that up? Oh, no, I guess there's more bomb flowers. I thought I, I picked up the same one twice. I thought they regroup very quickly, which would be interesting. Oh, no, that's not as helpful. <laughs> Whatever. There's something out that way as well. You're big. It's a monster camp. I'm heading the right way still, right? I think so. Oh, gloom enemies. I'm not ready for them, I don't think. Puff shroom? Okay. There's some stuff glowing well in the distance. Hello? What are you? How, how much health do you have? Well, maybe my stone axe is just bad, but still. Ow, I missed. Okay, what do you guys drop? Zona Knight and Blight Brooms. Bright Bloom Scenes. Okay. I'll take it. What are you? Whoops. Weren't any flying things in Breath of the Wild, really. So that's very interesting. Hmm. How high up are you? Okay, well, you, you died at one hit. Hello. He almost got me off guard. Arrowcuda. You have a backpack. Oh, camera? Okay. Okay, we're safe all the way there, it looks like. Oh. New light source very much needed. This place is kind of creepy. But more so, I just don't know what to expect down here. The animation's fun, at least. And now we can see... And it changes the ground around it. And grows plants. A little interesting. Oh, it connected. Interesting. Or maybe that's because I walked there. This area I've been to. Oh, it didn't heal me, but this would he get rid of my... Oh, you're right here. My blue... Oh. Okay, and what the heck is... Okay. Oh, Robbie. What? Look how bright that thing it got. The light down here in... The light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. 
Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. That's the statue. Standing tall on two legs, one arm raised. Looks an awful lot like that figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you haven't used that camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purpad's basic features. <laughs> Give me that Purpad for a second, alright? You think it's broken? Well, well, there's the problem. The camera's locked, and so's your Hyrule Compendium. Oh no, not my Compendium. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull that, and then you tap that, and... Cool, just one last skill. Have I seen what that skill is from the previews? I might have, and I just forgot. <laughs> Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. Go. So go capture a picture of that statue. It's a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to, I'll want to see how it looks. Easy. Hey, you. How did you do that? How'd that go? If you capture an image of that statue of your camera, then hurry up and show it me. I'd like to see how it looks. So did you get a good picture? Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Letting up that immense fruit, getting us a picture of the statue. You're just starting... You just started helping us research, research what's going on, what's down here. Wow. But soon enough, we're going to have to get, we're going to have even more to investigate. Yeah, so much down here. It's like a whole nother surface. <laughs> Time to head back up to the surface. I'll see you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Is there anything around here that would help me understand what I'm looking at so this is um why is it lit oh because it's zone I so there's zone I stuff down here that's very important to know what are you am I supposed to recognize what this is because I don't hmm, I don't see any more lights around Actually, normally I would blow these guys up, but <laughs> I don't have enough bombs to warrant using them as weapons. Oh, there's another route. I'll head over there then. Hello, Bokoblin. Or Scale Bokoblin. Scale Bokoblin. Come on. Bokoblin arm. Yeah, I don't need it. Something blew out that way, too. Which is interesting. Bombflower field. This is a dangerous type of field. Hello? Mystery figure? Wait, 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 before I get closer. Traveler's Spear. So I can't take a picture of whatever you... You're pointing in this direction. Right? That's what that means. I just see another enemy camp out here, though. Hmm. I'll deal with that later. How can I get around this? Is that a path? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, here's another one of these statues. Uh, I guess I'll take a... I'll, I'll light up the area first and then take a picture of it. I presume taking more pictures is a good idea. Okay, I'll skip it this time. Alright. Whoa, that's structure. There's some structure up there in the top left. Interesting. Oh, and there's more of the statues. Like they're almost heading off in a... Are they all looking in the same direction? They're not, right? There's more of them. I want to... Poe? I'm disappointed. Oh, I'll take a picture of a bunch of them. That's probably a good idea. Is that... What are you? Rocks. I mean, I could probably fight you. Whew. Good old bomb flowers. Oh, and then you have stuff on your back. Can I not climb you? I want, I want one of these. No, no, eat. No, no. Close that mouth of yours. Okay, do I have any more? Okay, I have one more. I want to run out. Red Hound of Weapons fighting you. Uh huh. Ow! Uh, okay, please take put me back to before I lost all my weapons, and I'll just not fight him. Okay, good. I'll just go around. Oh, it's a pillar. Okay. Some rocks down here. Oh, and it's not a pillar, it's a wall. That's stopping me from going around, so if I want to go the direction I want to, I have to go past the, past the monster. Okay, then. That's fine. Just monster camp. I'm gonna ignore most monster camps. I'm really just wanting to explore down here. Should probably go back to the surface, though, and just go somewhere less dangerous. Oh, there is a ceiling. High up there, but not ex not impossibly high. All right, I'm getting around. Okay, another one of these guys. I wonder where they're going. Okay, there's some more pose out here. The darkness is a little scary, but it's more the fact that I can't see the, and don't know what's out here than like, I'm going to get attacked by some dark monster. Okay, these statues are definitely taking me somewhere. Oh, there's another one of these guys. That's interesting. Uh, those are horses. So the undead live down here. 
Oh, you, this one turned. He's going looking this way now. Towards the light. Okay, I'll head towards the light. Towards the uh, big light plant. Wait. I thought I saw a light plant. What is this? That's... Wait, these are Zonai tires? Excuse me? That's the Yiga down here? Yiga? Why? Why are you down here? According to Ko, this location will be destroyed. Glory to Master. Oh, he fell down a giant pit. Is he alive? I guess he could have been resurrected down in the pit. Holy shit. Whoa. You, you actually startled me. Wow. That one got me. <laughs> I'm worried that the year got down here. Also, I'm using up a lot of these seeds. I do like the fact that I could find so many pose at once. Though it's gonna mean I'm gonna need a lot of pose. Also, I'm quite disappointed that I don't get to fight the pose. Oh, there's multiple. I'm. Wait. Are these good quality? I think these are good quality swords. Okay, and then they're gone. So I guess they're just here to give me stuff. Okay, I'm gonna fo keep following the statues. I know I could go follow the pose or whatever. Oh, there's another statue here I didn't even see. I'm still heading... Actually, which direction are you facing? It's very hard to tell. I think you are facing the pose, actually. Wait, I gotta turn around. No, the pose are here. here. There's also monster camp. There's another one. I see that one too. Grove of... What? Grove of time. Whoa. That... <laughs> okay, do I have an axe still? I do. Ow. Oh, interesting. Go ahead, try it again. And you're dead. You turn into a log. I should have taken a picture. Oh well, which way are you facing? That way. Past the monster. Camp. I guess I'm gonna take a picture now. Ever mean. Okay, you're not too difficult. Ooh, don't see me, I'm not over here. Almost found the bows. I've been using quite a lot of arrows. What is this tree? Okay. Keep jumping every time one of these comes to life. Oh. Okay, what's in the chest? Large crystallized charge. It's equivalent to 20. Okay. Good, because I need 100 or something. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. You're actually quite easy to dodge. Once I figured out how you work. Okay, which way was I heading? I guess dressed in this general direction. Oh, here's an I see another one. Still in this general direction. Yeah, yeah. I see light down there. That's a different yeah, you know, white light. So there's an outpost over here. 
Don't worry, monsters. I'm not here. Or maybe this is where they're leading me. I know I'm heading. I'm not supposed necessarily being told to go out this way, but I really want to find out where these things are telling me to go. Hey, you're facing that directly. 